Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. You are now watching Engineer Shahinaz Al Asrawi, and I'm going in this video to start uh, explaining the CCNA 200-125 course in detail and the complete course and organized course. Uh, so uh, follow me and let's start uh, this presentation. As I said before, I'm going to explain the complete CCNA course here, not just uh, simply or not just uh, small details. No, I'm going to explain the course in full details. So if you are going to uh, take the exam, the international exam, you can follow me and you can uh, study from my material and inshallah you are going to succeed. Uh, how are you going to uh, follow here see here uh, I divided the course to 25 parts I'm not going to explain uh, each part uh, in uh, a video no each part is going to be uh, in several videos uh, here I'm going to start with uh, video or session one session one one is about uh, three videos I'm going to uh, explain video one here today uh, the course, uh, as you can see here, there's no practical examples till maybe session 7. All of this is design and uh, basics, uh, IP addressing, uh, problems, uh, such things. Uh, today we are going to start with the basics of the OSI and TCP models. Uh, we are going to explain some basic definitions, uh, words you must know before you start this course and before you start uh, in this field, such as computer network. We, we want to know what's meant by computer network or data network. Computer network means you are connecting several devices, more than two. Uh, those devices can contain printers, PCs, servers, routers, switches, uh, so you can transfer data between computers in this same network or between networks. The data can be files, uh, you can uh, print uh, on a remote printer, you can watch what is uh, a video camera is recording uh, all day long. That's what's meant by computer network. You can uh, have this data transmission uh, on different network types. We want to, to know here what's meant by network type. We have two basic types. We have physical networks and we have logical networks. We are talking here about the topology. The topology is the connection as you can see it or as the data is transferred. The physical topology is what you can see. I can see here, for example, in this network, we have a router, we have three switches, those three switches are connected to PCs, so here we have a physical topology. How the data is transmitted in this topology, how the data is transferred from, say, PC0 to PC2 or to PC5, and how the switches and the routers deal with this data is called the logical topology how the data is transmitted not how i can see the network what you can see is physical what is done inside the network and you can't see is called the logical topology of the network here i'm going to start with some simple definitions about the network types uh, is there and uh, i will explain in detail what's uh, the physical topologies present and what are the uh, uh, logical topologies present. The first here is the difference between the local area network and the wide area network. I have different uh, networks like this area networks, but we are talking here about the wired networks. Here, the local area network is the LAN. The LAN is a network which is a network in an area, a physical area, less than 10 kilometers. If the area is more than 10 kilometers, we are talking about a WAN connection, wide area network. 
that's the first thing you think about when you are designing a network if when you enter a company for the first time and the client is talking about a design and uh, what are you going to do what are you going to connect and uh, what uh, kind of switches and routers you are going to buy uh, you your first thoughts go to what am i doing am i designing a lan or am i designing a wan if the network i am designing is less than 10 kilometers then i am talking about a lan connection where the technology used is called the ethernet the ethernet technology the ethernet technology is something like that let me show you here a picture of a lan router the lan router uses ethernet ports and the lan switch uses ethernet ports so here if we see this connection here for routers the that device is a router this here is a switch can you see here this port this port is a fast ethernet port fast ethernet means it's a lan port with a speed of 100 megabit per second here also is ethernet ports with 100 megabits per second for each one of them here it's a console port a console port is used for configuration and it's not used for uh, data transfer we are going to talk about the console port in uh, coming videos okay so here we have a fast ethernet port so if i'm connecting the router from this port to that port here in the switch so that is a lan this cable here is of a maximum of about 100 meters so it's not a very long uh, uh, very long cable here so if the network i'm going to design is less than 10 kilometers i'm going to use uh, small or short uh, cables so the network is a lan if my network is very large which is more than 10 kilometers like i have branches in different countries branches in different cities uh, two buildings which are very far apart so i'm going to use a wan connection a wan connection needs a third party or a company which is going to provide the connection and the company we are talking about here is the isp internet service provider or the wsp the wan service provider the network here is responsible for transferring the data between my branches or between my companies i'm talking here okay so so here in the wan connection the ports used are the serial ports that port here is called the serial port this port needs to be connected through the telephone cable when we reach the WAN connections we are going here in our course to explain WAN connections but not now they are in session I'm going to here say what session we are talking about we are session uh, 17 se session 17 and 18 so uh, in those sessions we are going to explain the WAN connections in detail and we are going to to say here how we are going to uh, connect this port here which is a serial port to the uh, telephone line to reach another branch or to reach another company which is very far apart from me and the connection between us is more than 10 kilometers so here the difference between the LAN and the WAN is the area we are going to cover using our network another definition is the peer-to-peer -peer and the client to server model what's a server a server is a device which is providing a service to a network this service can be uh, it is a DHCP server which uh, uh, gives IP addresses uh, to different PCs it can be a web server it can be a file server for download and upload it can be a remote access server it can be a mail server so the server is a server is a device which gives a service 
to as to PCs in a network. Uh, the network can be local or it can be uh, wide. Okay. The relation here between the server which gives the service and the device which takes the service is a client to server relationship. The server and the other device which takes the service is called the client. Okay. In this course, we are going to uh, explain some services through the Cisco router like the NAT, DHCP, DNS, and we are going to explain every one of those services in detail and how to configure the router to provide those services. The other relationship in a network is the peer-to-peer -peer relationship. Like here in our network, the relation between PC5 and PC3 is peer-to-peer -peer, or another name for that one is the work group. Work group is uh, the time when there's no server. We are here communicating with each other directly. I have a file, you want this file, I'm sharing it, you are seeing it. This relationship here is called the peer-to-peer uh, -peer or work group relationship. There's no network which is pure peer-to-peer -peer or pure client-to-server. Each network have a part where you need client-to-server model and a part where you need worker group or peer-to-peer, -peer, you must know which part is which, that's all. Another definition we want to talk about the logical topology. In this network, we have a switch. This switch is connected to devices and the router. If we rearrange the devices here like that, you can see it's like a star. So the physical topology with, which I see with my own eyes here is a star topology. But the switch when it's dealing with data coming from say PC0 and going to PC2, how it deals with that and if in the same time PC1 is trying to uh, transfer data to the router and out of the network. How is the switch here going to deal with all this data the switch is going to act as a bus act as can you see here act as not what i'm seeing with my eyes here the act as word means this switch is inside working as a bus a bus here means a cable like those PCs here is connected to a single cable and if you have a cable, a cable can carry only one signal at, the, at one time and if another device is trying to transmit data on this cable, it must wait for the other uh, device to finish. That's the concept of a bus. So logically, inside the switch works as a bus and here's the topology is called a bus topology that's here what uh, we are going to explain here's a bus that's the switch this line here is a switch and the PCs and the server are connected to the bus as it's connected to the switch another that's the star topology star is a physical topology another logical topology is the ring topology it's similar to the bus topology but here you can see the, the cable uh, have no start and no end. It has a direction for transmitting data like it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. If it's anti-clockwise and I want to transmit data from this PC here to this PC here, the data is going to exit this PC and travel through all those devices until it reaches the destination. In spite of the destination was right beside the source, but the direction of the ring is anti-clockwise. This topology, the ring topology, was uh, working was with a connection that's called token ring. Uh, token ring is not widely used today. Ethernet is the most popular one because the ring topology had uh, delays like here and there was a token a signal that 
only the device having the token can send data and that's another delay added to the token ring topology another topology here is the mesh topology which is, which is uh, it can be physical and it can be logical here in the diagram it's physical the pcs are connected directly to each other using cables so the mesh topology here is physical mesh here means uh, every device is connected to the other devices through cables those cables can be physical cables or they can be logical connections but if one device wants to communicate with another device it doesn't go to a terminal in the center like a switch or a router it goes directly to this device mesh topology is most widely used in WAN connections not in LAN connections but the diagram here is just for clarification point to point topology it's a physical topology like you connect a PC to a PC directly that's a point to point connection uh, point to point is also present in say uh, wireless networks like in uh, Bluetooth the Bluetooth connection is point to point there is no intermediate device between the, the PCs if there is a switch there is a router so you are talking about uh, a star like we said before but when a device is connected to another device directly it's called a point to point connection uh, you can uh, see point to point connection between routers you can see point to point connection between switches so we are not talking just about PCs we are talking about network devices in general so point to point is not rare point to point is present very much in a network um, we'll stop here uh, in the next video inshallah we are going to talk about the network devices used and the difference between them I hope you follow this series as you can see we are starting from the beginning and we are moving through the course from start to the end uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, like the page on Facebook and join the group also on Facebook your subscriptions and your follows and your shares uh, is my fuel here if I can see that there is uh, interaction with my channel and you like my videos and you share my videos I will continue this series if I can not see that so I'm going to stop I am I am talking here to myself so I don't want to talk myself to the end so please listen to me and watch my series thank you very much for viewing you and uh, <laughs> good luck